Um, welcome everyone. Thanks for um, for joining us uh, at the Hatch and ShareSite webinar. I'm Kristen Lundman. I'm the GM of Hatch. Tonight we're going to take you through a very quick run through of the Hatch ShareSite connection. Uh, we want to chat about investing uh, overseas, particularly in the U.S. share markets, um, and answer everyone's questions, investing and tax related. And uh, so I'd just like to introduce uh, Natalie and Jess. Uh, and they'll be the ones that will be walking through the integration and answering some of these questions and chatting about Hatch and ShareSite. Uh, Natalie is the head of customer at Hatch. She is a co-founder. Um, she started a business uh, at the age of 19, has been starting them ever since. And so she's also a very early investor getting her, her start um, kind of at the IPO of zero, which I'm sure everyone's um, well aware of and um, has been on a an investing and tax journey um, from a very young age. So she's well equipped to chat um, about all things Hatch. Then we've got Jess, who is the head of partners and clients at ShareSite. She's calling in from Australia. Um, and a large part of her role is working with companies like ours um, to team up together to further help investors. Um, they also have an office in, um, in Wellington, which is how we first uh, got to know ShareSite. She comes from a tech background. Um, she's got a passion for innovative technology, which is why they make such great partners with Hatch um, that has the ability to change, um, you know, users' capabilities and, and make things easier. So she's previously worked as a assistive technology consultant um, and allowing people to communicate and access education through specialist technology. So she joins ShareSite uh, to further empower investors to be more informed with them. Um, uh, with their taxes, um, in particular, making them better investors. Um, so as you're aware, Hatch and ShareSite have partnered. Um, so we now have an API uh, integration to make kind of every step of investing, of the investing process, really simple and affordable um, from trading to tax time. Um, so what we're going to ask, what I'm going to ask first is hand it over to um, Natalie to walk us through Hatch in particular. Um, and then probably take us through a bit of a demo and then I'm going to hand it over to Jess and then I think we'll jump to Q&A but first um, important legal stuff. Uh, it's important that we just disclaim um, as we're sharing information today, um, you know, the, the webinars for informational purposes only. Um, it doesn't uh, constitute um, uh, doesn't constitute uh, advice, um, either tax or financial should not be relied upon. It's, it's general. Um, uh, for general purposes. So please check with your advisor or accountant to get cor correct financial advice or tax advice for your situation before acting on anything um, from today's webinar. Um, and just a, just a quick legal note, views expressed are the personal investing opinions of the, of the presenters as well. Um, so because ShareSite and Hatch don't hold um, the equivalent uh, advice um, regulation. So should, we're not an advice, we're not advice providers. So anyway, legal stuff done with, let's jump into um, the fun stuff and kick off with, I think we'll kick off with Natalie first through Hatch. So I'm going to hand it over to you, Natalie. Cool. Thanks, Kristen. Great intro. Um, so Hatch, I just wanted to do a quick overview of Hatch for whoever, um, I know we have a lot of Hatchlings online tonight, but um, for those of you who've never heard of us, I just thought I'd do a quick two minute spiel and then I'll go through setting up the Hatch share site connection. Um, so basically Hatch allows everyday Kiwis to build your own portfolio of the world's most successful brands, companies and funds. And that's with everything from Apple and BlackRock to Tesla and Zoom. Um, we specifically started with the US markets. I think it, it, for people who know Hatch quite well know it's a pretty um, well-known story. Um, because they are the biggest markets in the world, they account for about 85% of global investing. Um, they're the most exciting, um, they're the most digital, and um, for a very, very long time, New Zealanders didn't have access at an affordable level. Um, so we, by right now, offer um, access to about 2,900, 3,000 individual companies and 500 funds by some of the biggest fund managers in the world, including the likes of Vanguard and iShares. So you can invest in any niche that interests you. Um, there's robotics, there's cannabis, there's um, female-founded companies, all the way through to those really core um, highly diversified S&P 500 total world funds at the absolute lowest annual fees in the world, um, all through Hatch. Um, but we have a lot bigger plans than that. 
our goal is that everyone in New Zealand can back what they believe and back uh, and invest in companies and funds that speak to your heart, mind and wallet. So we're pretty excited about the future of Hatch. Um, we're part of Kiwi Wealth, um, which is part of the Kiwi Group. Um, so the cool thing about Hatch is you get all the benefits of a innovative, fast-moving startup with some pretty solid backing. Um, Kiwi Wealth, of course, is owned by ACC and New Zealand Super. Um, so we're in this for the long run. We launched the platform in late 2018, and to date we've had over 35,000 New Zealanders investing almost $160 million through Hatch. Um, we like to consider ourselves uh, your investing sidekick, and, um, and that means meeting you where you're at. So our customer base at the moment, we have a whole bunch of first timers who want to take the reins and put their money to work for the first time, get it out of those term deposits. Um, and we will post a link afterwards to our Getting Started course, which is a really simple jargon-free 10-day course for anyone who's kind of just getting started investing. And um, we've also have got a bunch of investors who've been waiting for a smarter way to invest. So that's, um, we offer those, those investors things like auto invest and, and all these huge range of funds that allows you to kind of have that sort of core 80, 90, 60% of your money and then be able to invest in the things that you really care about and believe in. All the way through to very, very experienced investors who are comfortable self-managing large sums of money. Um, and for all, everyone who signs up to Hatch has access to the same very powerful tools, limit orders, market orders, fractional shares. We've got stop loss orders on the way. We connect with great partners like ShareSite and Henry. Um, we have fair and transparent pricing. Our, our trade fees are $3 to buy up to 300 shares and we have, I, I have yet to see a platform offer lower than 0.5% FX fee to transfer your New Zealand dollars to US dollars. Um, we have a philosophy of pay for what you use and of course every New Zealander is considered a VIP to us. Um, so you all have access to our dedicated local support team who are online and um, very committed to providing the best service that will be very different to what you expect from your traditional financial provider. Um, and of course, access to our Hatch community, which is at the moment a Facebook group, um, which is a whole community of investors at various stages on their journey who are happy to share tips um, and help each other out so that together we can up our wealth. So that's kind of an intro to Hatch. I don't know if, um, do we take questions at this point or should I launch straight into the um, demo? Let's launch in, let's launch in. And um, we've got two, two quick questions about do we have options um, or short selling on Hatch? Okay, should I quickly whip into those? Yeah, go yeah, for okay. it, just because it's very Hatch. Yeah, so Hatch doesn't offer options. Um, and the reason for that is a pretty niche um, trading capability and we our our an, primary goal is to allow kiwis to have a great place to grow their money over time to invest it so options for now are off the agenda um short selling that's an interesting one one thing we do offer with short selling is um investors can invest in some of these 500 etfs are the um, inverse etfs which allow you to um, back the opposite of what's ever happening in the share markets on any given day. Um, at the beginning of the year, we started a stock pick challenge and a few of the people who are doing pretty well in that stock pick challenge for a while were backing these inverse ETFs. So we have the ability to short in some ways, um, but once again, because of that niche functionality and because of um, our primary goal to be allow, allow New Zealanders to invest for the long run, we've sort of stayed away from those for now. Should I kick into my screen share? Kick okay, in. bear with me. Hopefully, there we go. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can do this. Is that showing up okay? I think I can, you guys are probably visible. There we go. I've hidden you. Can everyone see that okay? Yeah, perfect, Matt. Cool. Okay, so this is a very, very demo Hatch <laughs> account. Um, this is where I do a lot of testing, so um, do not judge me for my negative <laughs> return in the small <laughs> amounts. Um, so just to connect to ShareSite is very easy through Hatch. You click on your account settings, and then once you get through there, um, you can see our partner connections. Um, and we have two at the moment, and all you need to do is click connect through Hatch. Um, 
authorize access to your ShareSite account. Click authorize. And then normally when you start off, I've just done this earlier, sorry everyone, the joys of doing things live, um, you would sign into your ShareSite account if you hadn't already signed in. Um, and then we suck through immediately your portfolios and you can select from your portfolios. Um, I'm gonna select my portfolio. And then you have the option here to send all past and future transactions to ShareSite or only send future transactions. Um, th this really allows you, at the moment, there's a few Hatch investors who have been sending um, manually uploading their Hatch transactions to ShareSite. So that allows you to um, select this and only so, um, send through future transactions. Or if you were yet to connect, you could send them all through. Um, push the big button and you're done. Um, Jess, I don't know if you want to take it from here. Yeah, or if... yeah I'll jump in. So cool. if I just, uh, I'm just gonna, oh, there we go. Stop. I'll just give you a little quick run from um, about ShareSite um, for anyone who doesn't know what ShareSite is. ShareSite is a portfolio tracking and reporting tool. Um, we, as um, I said earlier, we are a, a Kiwi company. We are from Wellington, uh, founded by a father and son. And we come from the classic um, tracking kind of mentality of 70% of investors tracking a spreadsheet. And that is where ShareSite was born. We, our founder, Tony, was tracking his investments in a spreadsheet. He asked his son for some help. And his son looked at this kind of massive spreadsheet and was like, there must be a better way than this. Um, they searched, this was back in 2006, and there wasn't anything. Um, so that's where ShareSite comes from. So we're all about um, making our lives easy um, by automating um, as much as possible. So we automate um, dividends and distributions, um, the prices, um, and obviously the performance calculation. So that enables all of us to know our true performance and run reports. And we have powerful tax reporting. Um, so we have the all important fifth report. Um, so, um, and we're really excited to partner with Hatch um, to kind of further empower um, Kiwi investors. So I will now jump into um, ShareSite. So please bear with me. I need to make sure I get the right screen. Perfect. So here we go. So now I've jumped in straight into the portfolio that Natalie has just brought into um, ShareSite where we're sharing um, accounts here. Um, and so as you can see, that portfolio, um, all of her investments from Hatch have come, come been pushed in via Hatch into ShareSite. And you can see here, um, ShareSite has calculated um, her total portfolio value. Fingers crossed it is a, a, a test account there, Natalie. Um, and then you can see here, um, we've pictorialized the portfolio. Um, so we have a number of different graphs um, here. So I'm, I'm a big fan of um, the performance graph here. So this shows me my, um, my performance over time. And we also have the ability, it's just calculating um, what it's doing there. So there you go, you can see, see a little bit of a dip there, Natalie. Um, and we can also kind of look at it it's a over. Test account, yes. it's a yeah, test account, <laughs> sure. <it's. laughs> That's what she tells people. Um, so we can also do it over different date ranges. So we can look at kind of the last three months, which is obviously, you know, has been a, been an interesting time for us all. Um, and then we have this nice summary bar. And other things that are really nice is we do um, we have a benchmark, so you can benchmark to um, any ETF or any. Um, any any stock that ShareSite has within our system. Um, so it's a really good way. We really recommend benchmarking to an ETF, which then enables you to have a direct comparison of what the stocks that you picked, um, but into an ETF which you could have gone into. So um, yeah, nah, maybe, maybe next time that ETF. Um, <laughs> um, so if we keep scrolling down, we also have an itemized list um, of, of the holdings. Um, so um, ShareSite has um, on the US stocks, um, US markets, we have end of day pricing. Um, so they'll be updated um, at the close of day. Um, and you can see here that we calculate your capital gains and um, dividends and that all important um, currency fluctuation, which is obviously really important when you are investing overseas um, in the US market. Um, if I just quickly, I'm just going to quickly give you a bit of a tour. So if I was to jump into Apple here, we go to what we call the individual holding page. And here you can see, again, we have a nice graph of um, our stock. Again, we have that date range and we have a number of different graphs. 
And what ShareSite also does do is it automates um, all of the dividends that you've received since you first purchased into that stock. So kind of right back. And we kind of have data going back 20 years. Um, we also do um, corporate actions. Um, so we handle any corporate actions automatically that don't require financial decision. But we do have functionality to um, assist you handling any that do require your input. Um, and then to kind of continue, we also have um, a number of um, powerful reports. Um, so we kind of break them down into performance um, and, um, and tax reports. We are going to do a, um, a webinar, a joint webinar between Hatch and ShareSite next Wednesday as well, um, where we'll go into the fifth report in more detail. So I'm not going to kind of cover that today. But just to chuck it, just show you um, a few of kind of um, reports that are really good is uh, we've got this contribution analysis report. And this is a really powerful report to see kind of what, what's been happening in your investments so far. So if you kind of, we have this group by option. So I'm just going to click here and say, do not group. And then what this does is it shows me, oh, sorry, that's, I need to push out the date range. This is when you haven't seen what the portfolio holds before you do the, uh, the demo. Here we go. So what this does is it um, breaks down the portfolio, um, the holdings, and you can see what has really been contributing to the gain and contributing to the loss. And you can run this in any date range. So um, I've done this since, um, since inception, so since um, Nestle first bought in, but you can do it at any date range. So it just really gives you an indication of what's going on in your portfolio to kind of assist you in what you should do moving forward. Um, some other things, uh, other reports along the same lines, we've got the diversity report, so you can see kind of how diverse you are and how um, in, um, you can do it by sector, industry, um, market. Um, you can also, we have a feature called custom groupings, which does allow you to organise your, um, your holdings however you wish. Um, if you're kind of interested in looking into that, uh, our chairman, Andrew Bird, did a really good webinar called How I Use ShareSite a couple of weeks ago, and that is on the ShareSite YouTube channel, which I'd recommend um, having, a, um, having a watch of. But you can see kind of how you're broken down. All of these reports can be downloaded as a spreadsheet, um, PDF, and into Google Drive, so you can kind of take them away. Another really powerful thing about ShareSite is that you can um, share access of your portfolio. So um, I share access with my partner so that he can see our investments and keep track of them as well. Um, and we also share access with our accountant, which reduces our accounting fee because um, the accountant doesn't have to rekey everything. I'm not giving him a box of paperwork that I've crumbled into bits and spilled tea all over. It's all in ShareSite so he can just download it and easily access it. Um, the so you can put everything in share site so you can put all of the paperwork you can attach um trade confirmations you can um attach any other kind of information that is related to your investments um the other thing to be aware of as natalie touched on is if you have been using um the trade confirmation email which used to be known as uh, broker emails import both very easily roll off the tongue names, um, which was where you kind of emailed on your hatch trade emails to share site to populate your trades. Just make sure that you don't import your history because you will be duplicating everything and then you'll have to manually go through and delete everything. So just, just be aware, just do future trades. That would be my kind of one tip. Um, so that's a very quick rundown of ShareSite. Um, you can um, sign up for ShareSite for free. Um, we do have a free plan that allows you to track 10 um, holdings, open or closed, um, and run a number of reports and use a number of the features. And then we do have a seven day free trial. Um, and we also have sent you, um, Hatch have sent you a nice little gift in the email, address, email that they sent you earlier in the week. Um, so make sure you open that up. Um, so that's my demo. I'm going to stop sharing now and let's just have a chat. Wonderful. I think we'll probably start with please um, anything in that demo that you want repeated or you want to see again or any questions you have out of um, with respect to the two platforms, please just start throwing them up in the q and I've answered um, some of them, but um, please, uh, please feel free to do that. Um, I just want to start with some of the ones that came in before the webinar um, when we kind of reached out and thought, what do you want to learn about? And the first one is, what are the costs of going over 50,000? Um, and so maybe someone, uh, maybe Jess, you can talk about that 50,000 limit and what are the costs of going over that $50,000 New Zealand limit? 
Um, mm -hmm. And how much effort does it take to complete all the required IRD stuff? Okay, yes. So as, as I said before, um, ShareSite is a Kiwi company. So kind of one of one of the first things that we built was the fifth report, um, which is really straightforward. Um, so for anyone that's not aware, it's um, foreign investment income. Um, so what I'm just going to do, I'm going to go back to sharing just because it's so much easier just to kind of actually show you instead of just kind of talking about it. Um, so if I jump back into reports, we've got um, here this fifth report. And you can just come in straight in here. And what ShareSite does is it um, it kind of pulls out everything. So you pick what year you're running it in. So generally, obviously, this is something that you'd always run within um, the uh, year this year. Um, and what it does is it looks at all of the um, the holdings that you have inside of ShareSite and works out which ones kind of fall into, into the category. So what foreign income have you received? And these are the holdings um, that I have within my portfolio. And it shows me kind of how much I've received. And then what it will do is you just say calculate it and ShareSite does all of the hard work for me. Um, you can on uh, the... Uh, what is it called? Uh, the sorry, I'm useless with different abbreviations. The IDR is that your what the New Zealand tax IRD. office is called? IRD. Thank you very much. Sorry, I kind of I either flip to British or Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Neither would be right. Um, <laughs> so they do have kind of a breakdown of um, to enable you to work out if you do need to pay it. But then once you get to to calculating it, it's really complicated. And this is where ShareSite really shines for you and will really save you a lot of time because it does all of that, that calculations for you. And it does it in kind of different, the two different methods. Um, so you can kind of find out more about that on our, on our help pages and um, in next week's webinar. So I will stop sharing now. Thank you. That's great. Can you also just address the under 50,000 um, require, tax requirements? Um, anyone? Do you want me to take that, Jess? Please. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, 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 there's two things that I just wanted to say about tax. One is, um, like Jess has just said, that ShareSite does a lot of the calculations for you if you fall over 50,000. And one of the questions we thought we'd be asked a lot when we um, launched Hatch was, how complicated is it? Is there a big barrier to um, investing over 50,000? And what we've learned from quite a few investors who do invest over 50,000 overseas is um, taking that little bit of extra time um, and using tools like ShareSite really um, sh offsets the um, the hard the hard parts of the um, complex calculations, um, but also that the huge benefits that you can get from diversifying your assets overseas from not just having your job, your house, all your um, investments in New Zealand, that it is worth considering um, regardless. So I just wanted to make sure that we kind of also covered off the benefits that it's not just that um, tax gets a lot of talking time when it comes to investing overseas. Um, when you invest, there's no hard and fast rule when it comes to tax. And um, that's not just the case with overseas investing. It's um, the case with any sort of income you receive in New Zealand. There's different tax rates. There's different tax rules, different tax credits. Um, and you can never escape paying tax. So even if you just limited your investing to New Zealand, you'd still be paying tax on your income. Um, so I think that's, that's another thing that um, often people underestimate because quite often with your New Zealand based um, investments, especially in funds, that tax is hidden. So you think it doesn't exist sometimes, but it, it absolutely still does. Um, the general rule, and I can only speak in general rules because like I say, um, as with all tax, everyone's situation is different. Um, if you have under 50,000 invested overseas and you are an individual in New Zealand, um, you pay tax on your income as long as you're not what they call a trader or investing for a profit. So I'll talk through those things pretty quickly, once again, very generally. Um, so your income is your dividends. And what happens when you're investing through Hatch? Um, you get paid dividends in US dollars into your Hatch account. Before those dividends get paid, your US tax is deducted, um, so you never see it. Um, and then we take care of all your tax um, obligations in the US and at the end of the year spit out in your tax statements, which Hatch investors should have received in the last couple of weeks, um, the total income you've received from your investments through Hatch and the total tax you've already paid. And that second number is also quite important because um, 
you don't get double taxed in New Zealand if you invest overseas. So that 15% generally tax you've already paid in the US, um, you get a credit for that. So when you're filling out your um, tax return in New Zealand, um, you can fill in that amount you've already paid and it's acts as a tax credit usually. Um, the other thing that we've just learned from the IRD's website recently is um, if you go to fill out your tax return this year, you'll see a big disclaimer on there that if you've earned under $200 um, from income across the board in any tax year, that's not already um, declared to the ID, so not part of all your general pay or um, interest from the bank, which automatically gets sent through to the IRD, that you actually don't need to fill out an individual tax return. Um, and one of the cool things about that, in a way, is that quite often um, overseas companies, New Zealand's a high dividend paying uh, country. Um, so when you're investing in a lot of the growth companies overseas, like your Teslas and um, of the world, you're not actually receiving any income from them in the short term, you're not getting dividends on them. Um, so that was kind of a whole bunch of information. Feel free to ask follow-up questions on that. Um, when it comes to uh, the, um, being a trader or investing for a profit. So this is where New Zealand law is, and I'm not a lawyer, um, is kind of got its own quirks. Um, and a lot of our tax law, and in this particular case, is down to, um, I call it intention-based law. Um, and so what that means is if you were, and I use this scenario, once again, very general, if you invest through Hatch um, and you buy, um, let's say, Tesla shares, thinking, I want to buy Tesla shares because I think that company is going to grow. And as they grow, they're going to pay me a dividend and I'm investing in order to make income from that. Um, and then two years down the track, you decide to buy a house and you sell your Tesla shares to fund your house purchase. Um, theoretically, in many cases, you wouldn't be paying tax on that because your intention when you bought the shares was to earn income on them. If you, however, was to buy those same Tesla shares with the intention for them to rocket up in price um, and that you could then sell them in the future for four times, you would be investing for a profit, um, in which case you theoretically should be paying tax on that. Um, so like I say, this sort of quirky intention-based law um, does mean that it's worth really um, making sure that you understand the intention of your investments when you start investing um, and, and make sure that you uh, are investing in a way that works for what you want to be doing tax-wise. Um, and then, and I suppose the only thing I would say on that front anyway, though, is when if I bought Tesla at $200 and it rocketed up to $1,000 and I had to pay tax on my profits, one of the the joys of tax on profits is by default, you've earned a profit, you've made money. So paying tax on that money, you still made money. So um, it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Thanks, Matt. Um, I'm just gonna ask a couple share site questions and then we'll drop back to Hatch. Um, the first share site question is the share price updated in real time. Um, so um, on US stock markets, it's end of day pricing. End of day, very good. And then what about if, um, I have shares in overseas companies, like either be it employee share schemes, IPOs, other brokers. Can they also be included with ShareSite alongside my Hatch um, holdings for calculating fifth in aggregate? Yeah, absolutely. So everything can go into ShareSite. So um, we have we partner with lots of brokers. Um, we also have. Um, import methods, we have a CSV import, so you can import from all over places. We support um, over 170 plus broker uh, trade confirmations. Um, and we obviously we support uh, 30 stock markets as well. So you can put everything into ShareSite. Um, you can also put unlisted assets. So if you've got any um, artwork or investment properties that can all go into ShareSite. So it really can be your one stop shop for investing um, for tracking your investments and running reports. Um, so yes, absolutely. Everything can go in there. They can come from all different sources. If you get stuck kind of getting set up, please reach out to our support team at support at ShareSite.com. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, this one's for Nat. Nat, can you talk about the benefits um, of moving from a broker um, to a platform like a self-directed platform like Hatch? So that would be in compared to calling up a personalized broker? Yeah, so moving, let, let's just use the example of Craig's, which I know Hatch has seen a lot of Craig's customers move to, to Hatch. So what would be the benefit? 
cost would be the immediate one that springs to mind. Before Hatch launched, I think the cheapest price you'd pay to buy shares in a US listed company or ETF would be a minimum of, I think, 90 US dollars a trade in fees and brokerage fees plus um, FX fees on top of that. And we've dropped it right down to three. Um, so that would be the obvious benefit. Um, one of the big benefits I think people, oh, the other one would be speed and control. Um, when you have to pick up the phone and call someone, um, that, you know, especially in a volatile market like the US, the ability to, um, we have actually a decent amount of hatch investors who are online at 1.30 in the morning uh, with absolute live access to the US markets, placing orders in real time and having complete control um, over that. I'm not sure if, um, your human broker would be happy to get a phone call at that time. So I think that um, is another substantial one. Um, the other one I would say is there is a difference um, between what we offer as a sort of startup platform where our goal is really to stand alongside you. We spend a lot of time, Hatch has got no interest in um, people getting rich quick and, um, and boom and bust, um, the sort of old school kind of trader style way of investing versus actually standing alongside you and helping you um, make long-term good investing decisions. So I know that there are some human brokers who um, who do a lot of that for a very high fee. Um, with Hatch, it's sort of a ongoing education and articles and, and like I say, this community group um, is just something that I don't think your traditional brokerage firms really think through too much and offer offhand. Um, I think finally, um, when it comes to Hatch specifically, and I would like to think that we have world-class customer support, but um, I would also say, don't take my word for it, ask virtually any Hatch investor who's ever contacted us. We have fairly standard office hours, but you'll find Kristen, me, and probably half the rest of the team online all hours of the day and night because we have a genuine interest. We, we are investing alongside you. So um, we, we are borderline obsessed with the kind of being online and chatting to people. So um, I, yeah, I'd say that's probably the four big benefits. Kristen, you could probably have some more. Do you know any other? Oh, you did well. You did well. You did well. <laughs> Um, and their share transfers are very easy um, oh, yeah. to, to come into Hatch. We make that quite simple. Um, does anyone know this answer? I could make a guess, but with New Zealand shares, we benefit from imputation credits. How does that compare with overseas shares? I can't, I mean, my guess would be we wouldn't have imputation credits. You'd have that tax. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I actually saw that question and I started Googling to, because I know imputation credits are a thing in New Zealand. Um, the yeah, I don't know enough about it to be able to answer that, but um, absolutely, if you send us an email um, at hellohatchinvest.nz, um, we will do our best to look into it because that's actually a good question to answer in general. Um, I think the only thing I would follow up with with that is, um, yeah, if, if, if the concern is that you're being double taxed by um, being taxed in the US and then also being taxed in New Zealand, um, generally that doesn't happen because you get that tax credit. Wonderful. Um... Uh, we've got a question. Uh, no imputation credits. Thanks so much for that. Um, that is a no. Um, but yes for ASX. Uh, presumably that's ASX. Um, thanks so much for that, um, that insight. Um, I just want to ask, I think there was a share site one. Sorry. Uh, give me one minute here. I'd just like to say like on the previous question about kind of like why why hatch like i think your community is the best like really good i like i think the fact that you're all kind of you're just invested in in the whole process i think mm. that that's that's such a good thing when you're kind of looking for for kind of who to use as your training platform so yeah well, thanks, and, I, and i think one of the other things that we've really um because when we launched um, like we are what not even two years old we kind of thought we would attract this audience of people who were just crying out for access to the US and didn't want to pay $90 a trade, or it was just impossible with, you know, not everyone has $100,000 to um, invest in a lump sum. But what we found is one of the coolest things about Hatch is we just have everyone at different stages. So um, the other thing that I would consider when I first started investing, I knew nothing and I'm a learn by doer. And um, knocking on the door of ANZ and saying, can I try and buy shoes? <laughs> I felt like an absolute idiot and I absolutely was made very, very aware at every step of the process of what an idiot I am and how little I know and how unwelcome in the investing world I am. Um, 
And with Hatch, we have just this amazing feedback from people who never consider themselves investors, who have a genuine interest in putting their money to work. Um, and, and we have a lot of parents who've been burnt by, well, scarred by their parents being burnt by the 1980s share market crash, who are getting their kids involved. And their kids are investing in McDonald's and Apple and Netflix and Disney. And um, there, there's something about being beside you wherever you're at because the great thing about that group is they don't take away from the really powerful tools we have for someone who does have a million dollars invested in the US who wants to have all those key investing tools that um, give you that control that you need. Um, so I think there's something super cool about the fact that no one, it's inclusive, anyone can join at any time and we actually have a solution for you no matter where you're at, um, which I would consider, I mean, when you look at kind of the names on here, there's three females representing a, um, an industry, of, yeah, there's an, four, including Christine, who's helping us out, and, and um, representing an industry that's largely male dominated in the past. So there's a bit of a change here that's going on with these partnerships and these platforms that are arising these days. That's, uh, that's another reason I'm a big fan of Hat. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jess. It's usually a lot I just, of lokes. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Jess. Hey, um, another share site question. There was one about um, upgrading. Sorry, it's now missing. It might have been answered, but there's about, can you talk about share site pricing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as I said, we have a freemium model. So you can sign up for free, track uh, 10 investments and kind of check out the platform for however long you like. And then we have three uh, premium plans. So we have a starter plan, um, an investor plan, and an expert plan. An expert plan is where you get access to the FIF report um, and all of our features and that contribution analysis report. And if you sign up for a yearly subscription, um, we give um, a 25% discount and it works out to be uh, $36 a month. So pretty good when it saves you all that time with uh, at tax time and just kind of tracking your investments. Fabulous. Um, we've got a question about Nat. I'm just curious if you feel comfortable sharing your um, Hatch account and how to use it, place a market order. Oh yeah, I can. Um, I can place one in our test account. <laughs> oh yeah, very good test account. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how good old test. I mean, yeah. All I'm of Natalie like a test account. <laughs> Natalie's green portfolio. So will you do that? I'm just going to. I was going to say answer. my actual portfolio looks a lot better. I really want to just um, show mine, but I don't okay, know. Well, we'll use we we'll use test while Nat gets that up and running. Um, very just briefly, someone's asked if we're going to connect in with Kiwi Wealth, Kiwi Saver in the future, and I'd just like to say. Um, absolutely, we're looking at exposing an API so that we can talk to each other with other Kiwi Wealth products. Also, we've tasked them with building us a cool Kiwi Saver as well in our own right. So it's something having access to a cool company um, like them and resources that we can actually get some pretty interesting bespoke products. Finally, do we have plans for non-US markets? Yes. Um, it says like Europe, and I had a Polish question before. I think the first one that makes sense for us is looking at ASX because it aligns with kind of that international um, world-class investments and then um, but I absolutely we'll look to NZX as well um, but I think uh, we've got some cool funds coming on uh, in the coming months um, first but we'll let Nat just do very quick hatch demo and then there's a couple other questions. And I think on that note with what's coming next um, one of the other cool things not to keep um, talking about cool things about hatch is that we are building the platform alongside our customers. We, we um, we will build what people want and don't have access to. So if you have any suggestions, we're collecting them all day, every day from our existing customers. So don't be afraid to get in touch. Um, just to do a quick run through to start, um, this is the deposit withdrawal. Just a really quick overview of depositing because I think there's a lot of, um, this has come a long way in the last couple of years. To deposit money into Hatch, you just deposit from your New Zealand bank account. Um, I think I saw a question about this as well. Um, you see an estimated exchange rate. All you need to do is deposit money into Hatch. It gets exchanged into US dollars um, once every working day. At the moment, we are working on some big improvements to that. Um, and if you deposit over $50,000 in one go, at the moment we'll give you a call to lock in the exchange rate, otherwise you get this estimate. Um, it should land in your Hatch account just after at the moment because the time zones, um, the US markets next open if you deposit before midday. So you really shouldn't miss out on any trading days um, if you deposit before 12 p.m. on any working day. It's pretty quick. And because of the time zones, um, you really don't miss out on anything with that one exchange in a day. Um, click here to browse shares. Um, there's a couple of cool ways to browse shares through Hatch. 
Um, you can search by industry. We have a few filters. Once again, this is getting quite a rejig at the moment. So you can um, have a, you can browse those ways. And um, we've also grouped um, different types of mega trends, we call them. Um, so these are some of the biggest um, world changing trends that are happening in the world. And um, you can click on any one of those and sort of see the biggest companies and funds in those spaces. And that's a nice place to start if, you, um, if you're kind of browsing around. Um, and then you just get to the list of all three and a half thousand options. You can obviously search. Um, at the moment, this is um, ordered by most traded, so you can get a quick, easy insight into the sorts of things that are being bought and sold a lot through Hatch. Um, you'll recognize most of these um, logos um, that can be quite interesting as they change depending on various global events. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. So I'll, let's say I want to buy Tesla, of course, because I'm me. Um, I click on Tesla, I can see a bunch of information. Um, I can click to see um, different prices. Um, I can click through to Yahoo Finance or the Investor Center down here to get a lot more information. And um, one of our goals of Hatch is to not kind of recreate the really clunky, highly technical trading platforms and really just create a nice interface that allows people to um, to do their business without kind of being overwhelmed. Um, these are all the different um, types of orders that are available through Hatch. A lot of people won't have access to this just yet. We are um, testing stop loss orders. Um, so let me just place a market buy order. Um, I just click on that. I can get some information about each one. I can see my total available balance. I see the fee. Um, I see the estimate to the amount of shares that I'm going to get. I can review and we give you some pretty um, good information about what exactly will happen once you place this order. Um, and then I placed it. And then I can just go track it in, um, in my transactions uh, until it's placed. So yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Fantastic. Are, are we, do you have um, joint or kids accounts on the horizon? Yes. So a couple of big features coming up for us. Um, uh, we are in the middle of building our referral program because um, we know um, we hear a lot of people signing up to Hatch saying, oh, my friend wouldn't stop talking about their portfolio. Um, we know that people are talking about Hatch and we really want to thank um, our, our big fans. You, I mean, you know who you are, um, but also to, to help people um, share the love of investing with their friends and family. So that's on the way. Kids accounts is just a no brainer for us. Um, and we actually, yeah, that having the ability and we've seen so many people already starting to do it. So basically the way you can start already is if you want to start investing on behalf of a kid, use your personal Hatch account. Um, start, don't hold off on starting those investments. And um, we're in the final um, kind of compliance process with kids accounts. Um, and then you'll be able to do an off-market transfer of any shares. It's pretty straightforward. Once again, you just let us know and, um, and you'll be managing your portfolio and any portfolios for any kids in your life. They don't have to be your own children. Um, it'll be pretty cool. Joint accounts, um, that is something that is definitely on our radar. We see huge benefits through, for them. Um, they are not as in progress as the other two. So um, watch this space. Can you talk briefly, Nat, about um, the FX rate and giving investors more control over the FX rate? Yeah, so um, it's interesting. It's funny what you learn in almost two years of launching an investment platform. Um, we did as much research as possible before we started about how people would invest overseas. And we got most stuff right, to be fair to us. I think we did pretty well, right, Kristen? <laughs> but, yeah. um, but there was a few things that we didn't realize, for example, that people would be up in the middle of the night investing. We sort of thought people um, wouldn't be that um, interested, which is just like awesome to see that uh, people are that committed to their portfolios. Um, so what we're working on at the moment is um, obviously things like instant funding of your account. So you deposit into um, our bank account and as soon as we receive it, you can then go and um, lock in your rate and move it over to the US. And when I say lock in your rate, the goal is that you will be able to sign into Hatch and say, I want to move X amount of dollars. We show you that FX rate. Um, you go, yep, good. And it will be in your um, hatch account within I'm going to say minutes because we haven't ironed out all the details yet <laughs> um, but that is definitely something that um, I mean we it's a, it's a no-brainer it's just a um, one thing that 
I like to think is a positive of, um, and probably a sign that Hatch is so intuitive is that it seems like everything's a lot easier than it is. And we have a small team and we work very, very hard on these features, but there are huge complexities behind moving money. And I think with our commitment to transparency and fees, um, that sometimes means we can go the hard way around rather than the easy way, but we do it all to give you the best result in the end. So um, bear with us, it's, it's harder than it looks but we are working as fast as we can on delivering more control over your FX rates. Fantastic. I've got, um, uh, I have money in USD, so how can I transfer that to Hatch? Um, also as a New Zealand tax resident, as defined by ShareSite, can you have a bank account linked so it's automatically updated with sales and purchases? Yes. So um, within ShareSite, we have a integration with um, Zero, another Wellington-based uh, tech startup. Um, so we actually have um, an integration. We were created at the same time and our founders met. Um, so you can use the cash book feature to have um, bank accounts kind of linked to ShareSite. We also have a manual cash account feature um, that we've kind of, we're now on our version three of. Um, it was one of our most requested um client features we have a community forum where kind of people can rate features um, and within that we it, it was highly rated so we've built out this feature where you can create a cash account and it links with you link it with a portfolio and it will when you um, buy and sell the money kind of moves in and out of the cash account um, and your dividends can also now be um, automatically um, added to that cash account so yes we do it was interesting to see that you had um, Disney as one of your most popular. We've been seeing that this week as well um, in our share site data. It's funny because it's such an yeah. interesting company. Oh, sorry, Kristen, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, COVID. COVID. We're all at home watching Netflix and Disney. <laughs> well, I think also, the other interesting thing about Disney is it's much more than, like, you may know a small part of it yourself, but, like, when you realize they're cruise ships, there's streaming there's theme yep. parks they have fingers in so many pies that they're a really interesting company you just they seem like a children's company well also well also parents like i've got a lot of friends who are just like if they did a lifetime subscription i'd buy it <laughs> <laughs> that's great and can you the, talk um oh sorry go ahead i was just gonna say the us dollar deposits that's another no-brainer that's on its oh, way yeah, sorry um, we're just yeah. working through now once again. It's just that it's just some, it's not insurmountable complexity. It's just all these things take time. Um, we have to open US bank accounts, that sort of stuff, but it's absolutely. Um, in the meantime, though, if you make, if you have to transfer your money back from US dollars to New Zealand dollars, just send us through the statement and we'll reimburse half our FX fee um, and absorb the rest of that for you so that you can, we're trying to get out of your way as much as possible while we get the right stuff in place. This is all just because we're 20 months old. It's, it's just, we've launched a lot of new features, but we've got plenty more to come. Yep. That's great. Can we talk, can you talk about is our money safe and do we actually own the shares or just hatch? Yeah, um, so money is never safe from market fluctuations. You back what you believe with Hatch. So if you back um, a company that you haven't done the research in and they drop in value, well, that's on you, um, as with any investment. Um, when it comes to um, custody and the security of the underlying sort of management of your um, shares, we have a whole bunch of information of that published on our FAQs and we're happy to send it because there's a lot. And um, once again, there's a lot of complexity to this stuff. So basically, like I said before, Hatch is a KiwiWealth brand. So we're owned effectively by the US, uh, by the US government, the New Zealand government. <laughs> so um, we, are, we are in this for the long run. So that's, um, we really hold your money though for uh, up to a day when you deposit the New Zealand dollars and send it over to the US. Um, so uh, so we don't have, if we were to close down Hatch for any reason, we don't actually own any of your stuff. So um, that's all safe from us. Um, once you get over to the US, uh, there's Drive Wealth basically is the brokerage account we use. So they um, take care of the buying and selling for you. And then they have other partners to make sure your shares are custodied at a completely separate place, which we think is very important. Um, it's not a necessarily a good idea to have the same company um, doing multiple parts. Um, that's once again, when we say be, be aware of who you're investing through as well as what you're investing in. And um, you want to make sure you lower any risks of any um, nefarious deeds in any one company. Um, and so your shares are custody in a different place. Um, and then you, um, all these places are registered uh, in the US to have insurance that protects your investments up to the tune of, correct me if I'm wrong, 
five hundred thousand US dollars, is it, Kristen? Yeah. And, um, in case of fraud, um, but you are the first creditor as well. So if um, a company was to run into any financial strife, um, all that comes. There's all sorts of processes in place. We can send you a whole bunch more information detailing every step because we think it's really important for you to understand and know what you're investing in, and we really, really encourage those questions. Um, when it comes to your name, who owns the shares? Um, if you're used to sort of the much more traditional New Zealand markets, you might be used to having um, your name on a share certificate. In the US, the markets have been completely digital basically for quite a while now. So in order to keep life a lot safer, rather than with this like instantaneous trading at that scale, passing share certificates back and forth um, where there's a lot of scope for um, theft um, and them to get lost, that um, what they do is a system generally called in street name where um, the brokerage account knows who owns what, and then the next person knows um, which broker owns it. So once again, we have a bunch more information on that. But effectively, you absolutely own your shares. If you were to invest in a cruise company, um, you'd get all the shareholder benefits, which a lot of hatch investors um, signed up to do. Um, you get voting rights, um, you get the dividends. A few investors were at the Berkshire Hathaway annual general meeting recently. I've just received my invite for apples, I think. Um, absolutely, all the rights and um, benefits of a shareholder. And you own Fantastic. the shares. That's great. Um, so I think that has wrapped up questions. We'll just uh, leave it for two minutes um, for any final questions. I'm curious, um, actually, let me just double check that. Um, how can we, um, uh, the US custodian is Citigroup. Um, and so the broker is Drive Wealth. And so the US cu custodian is completely separate from the broker, um, just to answer that question. So Citigroup is, um, you know, part of, um, obviously huge um, custodian, award-winning custodian in um, the United States. Um, and just wanna, how can uh, people reach you, Jess, um, for further questions and share site and yourself, Nat and Hatch? Yeah, so um, if you have any questions about ShareSite, um, please reach us on support at ShareSite.com and one of the um, friendly support team will be happy to help. We also, as I said, um, if you just, you can sign up at ShareSite.com, sign up completely for free. Um, we also have a seven day free trial on the premium um, uh, accounts as well. Um, over to you, Nat. Cool. Um, yeah, and I think we've got this next webinar in two weeks' time as well. We focus more on tax. Is it two weeks, I think? Next, next um, Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Okay, <laughs> one week's time. Um, Be there. Also, one of the, one of, I would say one of the cool things about um, this partnership, especially like you say, we're Wellington companies. Um, I used to share an office with some of the ShareSite team a couple of years ago. We know these guys really well, so we are happy um, and we do work together quite closely, so we're happy to pass any information back and forth. So um, either way, um, get in touch. Um, the best way to contact us is hello at hatchinvest.nz. Um, we share that um, inbox. You'll hear from any one of us. <laughs> we all like to um, talk to people all the time. So, um, yeah, that's probably the easiest way. Um, just a couple cut, last quick, little quick ones. Um, after hours, sorry, we don't. Um, in terms of the US, it's usually reserved for large institutional investors or people with lots and lots and lots of money. So apologies, we don't offer after hours. Um, uh, just quickly, um, what about um, criminal criminal charges um, and using Hatch Nat? Just um, oh, if you I, I don't know how convicted. Yeah, I don't, um, yeah. I have not heard anything that would suggest that you wouldn't be able to sign up with Hatch. Um, yeah. So once again, um, we are very much just get in touch if in doubt. Sign up. There's yeah. nothing stopping you signing up. Um, our, our sign up is one page into your email and password. Verifying your identity is a completely online process. It should take you three minutes and you should be up and running instantly. If there's any problems at all, um, we'll give you a call or an email and get it sorted out. So yeah, don't, don't let anything hold you off. We'll let you know if there's a problem, but um, assume there's not. Perfect. Um, good. Well, that um, concludes three minutes early, everyone. Go grab yourself a drink. Um, please reach out. Uh, fantastic resources on the ShareSite website. Um, also on Hatch, um, we're always uh, available to chat. So thanks so much for your time. Um, time to grab a drink, drink and um, chill out. Thanks so much to Jess and Nat and Christine uh, behind the scenes. Appreciate your time. And I hope everyone has a fantastic night. Thanks, thanks very much, guys. Thank